530, if I could call this meeting to order, please. We'd all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please, show. Cindy? Here. Dave? Here. Dennis? Present. Frank? Frank? Frank, here, here, yes. <laughs> Nancy, here. Sue, here. Okay. Previous minutes of April twentieth, two thousand fifteen. Make a motion to approve the minutes as presented, with any corrections or changes. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carried. Previous minutes, approval of closed session on April 20th, 2015. I've handed each of you a copy of those minutes. If you look at them quickly, if you would also sign your name on them and pass them back here. Uh, we also need a motion and a second to approve those. I know my handwriting is not the best, but <laughs> I try. You can write them on there. Yep. Are you on the first page, last page? What? Signature. On, on the front page, please.
just need a motion and a second. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the closed session meeting. Support. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carried. And these meeting minutes are now sealed and I have to state the date. Destroy May 5th, which is one day and one year from tonight's date. Okay. Uh, next item on the, oh, I'm sorry, the previous minutes from the special meeting, April 27, 2015. I'll make a motion we approve the minutes from the April 27th special meeting. So far. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carried. The next item on the agenda is bills. We have bills in the amount of $8,359.54. I'll make a motion that we accept the bills, accept to pay the bills for $8,359.54. So Support. Any discussion? One question on the car washers. Is that just for a month or was, uh, that's an awful lot of uh, January, February, or March. Oh, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's, it's a delivery of the face I'm sorry. Yeah, it's for three months. Three months. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. And, Sorry. It was a little funny, but not that bad. <laughs> Any other discussion or questions concerning bills? Roll call, please, Shelley. Cindy? Yes. Dave? Yes. Dennis? Yes. Frank? Yes. Sue? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, next item on the agenda additions or changes to the agenda. Hearing no additions or changes, correspondence. No correspondence. Uh, public comment. Now is the time you get public comment. Please uh, state your name, your address, and please limit your comments to three minutes, please. No public comment. Okay. Next item on the agenda. New business. Habitat for Humanity House, resolution number 0504-15-07. Give the board a little bit of information. Oh, there she is. <laughs> um, we have been, I'm going to say, blessed with the opportunity to have Habitat for Humanity construct a, a brand new house on some property on Francis Road that um, is, I believe, west of the expressway um, that will go to a low, um, moderate income family. Um, and the board needs to um, approve this resolution in order for uh, Habitat to complete their paperwork. Um, and we have Margaret Cato here, who is the executive director for Habitat for Humanity anybody has any questions for it. Um, I had the, the privilege, I believe it was last Wednesday, of attending a dedication for one of these houses in Thetford Township. It actually was the second that they had constructed they were right next to each other. Um, and it was uh, it was really, it was quite, quite an event. I was um, pleased to see um, the house. It was very well constructed. Um, the family, the, the, you know, all the groups that, that go into um, these homes. And so, like I say, I, I think it's a real um, good thing for the Indian Township to um, have an opportunity like this. So. Are, is that, that's between Linden and 75? Is that on, on Francis? You were told me it was on the other side of the expressway. I, I, you said west. Huh? I, 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 
Obviously, the parcel is near Saginaw Street, <coughs> west of the trailer park. That's what that I'm thinking too. Section 36. That, well, that's what I originally thought. Can, that, can you tell us where it's at? Mark? Yeah, that's where that's where it's at. It's on, by Saginaw. It's on. Yeah, I was going to say that. That was what I originally when we originally discussed a year or so ago. Section thirty. It was a lot over here. On, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's between. So it's between the Saginaw and the railroad. Yep. Okay. That was donated. If I. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Is this just a one parcel here? No. It's, no. It's no. the one that was on the agenda last year for the township or the one. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'd like to. Does anybody have any other questions for Margaret or for this particular agenda item? I've given you the, the survey of the property and, and the resolution, the uh, application that, that people fill out to get on the list for these homes. So I'd like to make a motion to accept, to approve resolution 05-04-15-07. Self-report that. Good, sir. Roll call, please, Shelly. Dave? Yes. Dennis? Yes. Frank? Yes. Sue? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Cindy? Yes. Motion carried. Now, one other thing that I'd like to do in conjunction with this house, um, and obviously I've, I've talked to a couple of board members about it, I think in just as a, a goodwill gesture from Vienna Township, if we could waive the building permit fees for this particular house. I mean, it would still be inspected, but um, you know, just kind of take on the fees for that and not charge them for the building permits. That just as long as it's like inspected. Oh, it's absolutely. Yeah. And, and I actually, I, I know the individual that's the construction manager. Um, it, it will be taken care of. So. Yeah. Well, I, I'll, I'll make that motion to waive the, any building fees and inspection fees for the habitat for humanity. I'll support that. Wait, what? I, I need to be more specific. All trades, yeah. what about tap and fees? It likely okay. needs to be more specific yeah. than that. Well, certainly all, all, all building permits and trade permits. Um, I think we need to address the tap and fees at some other point. I don't know that we could, you know. If we work going on muddy water there. So yeah, keep, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll make the motion to keep it as for rents and for all all fees and all inspections. Okay. I supported that. So um, could I get a roll call on that too, please? Dennis? Yes. Frank? Yes. Sue? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Cindy? Yes. Dave? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you again. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, we'll, we'll let you, okay. you can give your name, but we'll, yeah. I, I thank you very much. I, I appreciate that. And for the, all the citizens here to know that that person will also be paying their uh, a, a mortgage, regular mortgage, to have that humanity monthly. And those mortgage fees go back into the community to build more projects. And they also pay taxes just like the rest of everybody. Mm -hmm. um, we'll pay their taxes back to the municipality. I also ask if it's possible we can sign the resolution tonight so I can include it in my package to the student um, yep. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Next item on the agenda supervisor recommendation. One of you want to speak? Or? Oh, you're doing Oh, am I doing <laughs> 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 Thanks. Thanks. Go back. I need to take it away from you. Huh? <laughs> um, as everybody knows, we <coughs> took letters of interest and resumes for the position of supervisor. Um, and we, a committee of three, being myself, the treasurer, and uh, trustee Boyle interviewed the candidates, six candidates, six qualified candidates. I think Vienna Township was um, very lucky in, in the individuals that, that applied for this position. They all brought something to the table to offer. Um, in 
after discussion, after we, we had the interviews, the three of us came to a unanimous decision of the individual that we're going to recommend that he, he will bring to the township um, what we think the township needs right now to get us back on the right track, get us in the right direction, um, bring us back to a, a very productive township and, and a cohesive township. So with that, I would like to make a motion to uh, recommend Joseph Risk for the position of supervisor. So far. Is there any discussion? I think I'd like to roll call on that too, please, Sean. Um, effective as soon as you want to take the oath, Mr. Risk. And we can do that tonight after the meeting if you'd like. May 4th, 2015? Yep, May 4th, 2015. You're stuck now. <laughs> You haven't voted yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, okay, so I, I know it's one of these half glass full. And these guys will tell you that. It's always half full. Dennis? Yes. Frank? Yes. Sue? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Cindy? Yes. Dave? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, now you're stuck with yourself. <laughs> Congratulations, Joe, and, and, and I personally um, will be sending out letters to the other candidates um, that applied, and, and again, I. I'll speak for the board or even the interview committee that, that we really appreciate the interest and, and again it was um, it, it was great to have the people come forward that, that we did. They were all quality people and I, I think we were, we were really fortunate for that. So. Next item on the agenda, Senior Center Director Contract. You have in your packets, um, and, and as we've discussed a few times in the past few meetings, there's only a couple of employees that we have that have one-year contracts. Uh, the senior center director is one of them. That contract is going to expire on May 19th. And so I brought it to this board meeting in case there was discussion or any kind of difficulties, or it would give us one, one more board meeting. Um, but what the issue is, is do we want to um, get rid of the contract as we've talked in the past and, and just say, you know, we're, we're just a, a regular employee like everybody else and, and forget the contract? Because the contract, basically it was for a year because obviously with the, the difficulties we had in the past, we wanted to make sure that the person we had um, fit the bill. And I know that the senior director that we have currently has cleaned a lot of stuff up. There's still, I'm, you know, I'm not going to say that there's not still a few things that, that need to be worked on, but I think overall um, the director has done a, a good job. So we can either get rid of this agreement um, and just the director would become a, a regular employee. Or if you'd like, um, you know, we can extend the agreement for you know, three or six more months if you'd like till the end of the year, or um, whatever is whatever is the board's wishes. Cindy, I got a question. Sure. The contract, or not? I shouldn't say contract, but the employment agreement now is for Monday through Thursday, correct? No, this particular one is Monday through Friday. And, 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 is it in the, in the employee agreement? Is there going to be an exception for her? She no, there, there in, the, in, in the employee manual, um, I do have some specific things that I've added into it. Now, granted, I'm, I'm still trying to get that to you to adopt. Um, but if you'd like, and, and, and that's a good point, we could um, extend this for another three months. But I, I do have some specific things that are specific to the senior center in that employee manual. Um, but we could, until that's completely done, we could extend this for another three months or six months if you'd like to. Um, or we can put on there until the employee manual, the new revised employee manual is adopted. 
it was kind of well, probably should just extend the existing contract to let others know, and then if we want to switch over to that, I don't know. And, and that would be fine. I, I, would, I would even make it a motion that we just extend three months for a couple of reasons. One, to, to get our employee in uh, it also gives Joe maybe an opportunity to get involved in, in, um, in it because ultimately the supervisor is kind of the manager of those people at the, at the senior center. Um, give him an opportunity to, to, to get involved as well. Uh, I like the six month a little better because <clears throat> as we had discussions on other contracts, to get them to anniversary date being the end of the year. So if this is negotiated for the end of the year, then you'll have your budget numbers with any pay increases as part of the budget. That conversation, you know, happens like in November maybe. So you'll have good numbers for the budget. And, and then we strive to get all the contracts for any and all employees to expire at the end of the year. Well, and, and, and I think... And, and we can do two, three monthers if you want. That'll take us to November anyway. Well, and, and I think, you know, in previous discussions, it was our... Um, I, I think some of the board members' intentions to, you know, like in this particular case, um, one, it was because we did have the difficulties with the last director, but two, this did state, um, you know, salary and, and you know, it's, it's, Dennis mentioned the days and the hours, but other than that, it's it's um, they're they're evaluated exactly the same as you know all the employees are. And I, I don't think whether there's a contract or not, if we decide to get rid of the contract and just they just become an employee, or at the end of the contract, if it's decided that you know we just don't renew the contract and we don't make that person an employee, then they're <coughs> pretty much terminated. So. But I, I, I guess what I'm getting at, Frank, is that all the evaluations happened and, and the pay raises happened at the same time for everybody. So with the exception of the official, and that was negotiated when, when I just thought that person first started. It would run, I just thought it would run smoother towards the end of the year when you're looking at budget and contract mm -hmm. expect expiration dates. I think three months is enough. That's what the motion is. Did we get a second? No. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to extend the contract for three months. Um, I think I'll, I'll do a roll call on this also. Please. Frank? Yes. Sue? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Cindy? Yes. Dave? Yes. Dennis? Yes. Motion carried. Next item on the agenda is ordinance number 421, super dump ordinance, the final reading. I'd like to make a motion that uh, the board adopt ordinance number 421, super dump ordinance. I'll, I'll support that. Any discussion? No. Sue? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Cindy? Yes. Dave? Yes. Dennis? Yes. Frank? Yes. Motion carried. Next item on the agenda is Fire Authority Board appointments. Um, as, as, a, as it stands right now, of course, Randy was the, was the permanent member of the board. Cindy was the, the third member, which we lose next April. Um, because she already has the experience now of being on it for a year, I would, I would like to make a motion to put Cindy in as the, as the permanent member of the Fire Authority Board, um, at least through next year when we, when we get that taken care of. And then we can have the third one added by when, when Joe gets into position. Second Do you still need another one for the third one? We're going to need we're going to need to make a we're going to need to make a replacement for third. This would be the permanent one, you know, moving through. 
you know, because we're going to lose one next April. Um, uh, you know, we're going to lose the third member next April. Yeah. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. By by saying aye. Sorry. Those opposed? Motion carried. Next item on the agenda is field road closure. I'll let you take that one. Too. <laughs> I'm assuming everyone read the letter. It was it was brought up by um, the property owner, Mr. Monroe, who owns both sides of Field Road, and we're talking Field Road uh, between I-75 and Jennings Road. The closure would be up to um, the east boundary of his property line, which is about just short of a thousand feet from the end of of that road. And and if anybody's been down there, uh, it, it's it's well, we, there used to be a barn down there that was was set ablaze by someone. Uh, there's trash that continuously gets dumped down there, of which the landowner is responsible for cleaning. Um, and, and I and I would think our, our sheriff's department would appreciate as well the, the, the happenings that go on down there. All that all this says is the county would not maintain that road anymore beyond there. Would there be any? Uh, barricades or anything? Yeah, what, what, what they're talking about doing is gating that, putting a gate there, and there would be access, uh, limited access to the, the landowner. Uh, there's three There's three landowners that it would affect, or two landowners. Monroe owns both sides of, of uh, Field Road. Uh, Bronner's owns a one acre parcel down there where their where their big Santa Claus is. And then consumers' power needs access because they have power to that Bronner sign. Um, and, and of course, the county would have access, and and so would Mr. Monroe. So, I, I, it, it's it's uh, it's one of those roads that go nowhere except the trouble. I, I think, and, and I and I and I and I've talked to uh, one of the commissioners at the road commission because he approached us about why why do we want to shut it down. He came out last week, uh, looked it all over, and says I absolutely understand, and he was he was okay with it. That was David R. C. R. C. This is who uh, the commissioner was. Is, is the, <clears throat> the gate that's going to be right about where Creekside Drive is? I think it's called. It's going to be just. It will be just west of that. And there, and, and the county will put in a turnaround for the for school buses, the maintenance, the maintenance, you know, their maintenance trucks. That kind of thing. I know they use so, school buses. I know probably maybe garbage trucks. I, I have a. An acquaintance that lives on that street, and he always complains about everybody turning around in their private drive. I think you call it. Sure. So the turnaround will be east of or west of Creekside Drive. Uh, or is it going to be Creekside? No, no. They they said they were putting one in, so okay. I'm assuming it will be west of there, between the gate and that and Creekside. I mean, I I haven't seen any drawings, but. They said they, they would have to turn around at the gate. I think there's still two or three hundred feet at least between Creekside and yeah. I know it's been an ongoing problem with it. If you turn it into a dump, then there will be. So, is there any other discussion? Do we have a motion? I, I, I will make a motion to oh, uh, accept the closure of Field Road at the east boundary of uh, Monroe property. I'll support that. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carried. Okay, at this time, we have public comment. Anyone wishing to? Comment, please list your or state your name and address and limit your comments to three minutes, please. Board comment. Sue? No, oh, I'm good, thanks. Nancy? No, I'm good. Oh, oh, oh. oh we got oh, it. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Beach, 5086 West Idaho. Who's going to pay for the turnaround? The county. Did all the land have stuff? Huh? 
west of that. Place. It will be. It will be. It will be at the corner of his of his property. It will be a cut, section cut out of Mr. Monroe's property. So, as the all landowner, not the owner of the north side, do the, they have anything to say about it? Um, the people west of Creekside. Is, is the only people. The only there? people west of Creekside are Monroe's and Bronner's. There's, uh, there's two, uh, three houses that, there. Where the gate is going to be. I know, but I'm just asking between Creekside and where the gate is going to be. Have there people on the north side been notified? No. I, I, not? Uh, not by me, they haven't. Why not? Shouldn't they have some say so about it? Shouldn't a letter be sent to them? We, we'll certainly notify them that the road is going to be closed from there on. No, I, if you was living there, wouldn't you want somebody to go tell you I, before it happens? And it, well, sorry, it's been already transferred, it's been done. You can't do nothing about it now. I mean, I, 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 I don't you know. Have a little more proper than just the board just deciding on our own to do something like that. And they're, they're taxpayers. Do those folks that he's referring to, do they have access in and out of their property? Sure. They will not, their, their property will not be affected by the closure. Yeah. Thank you. We're looking at a pictometry view. There is no homes in that area. Is that something the county wants to do, Dave? Um, they requested? They, they, no, no, the landowner requested. Oh, the landowner is down there. Right. Well, well, there isn't any there's homes. At least there's one no landowner homes. on Creekside that's complained mm -hmm. many times about the dumping at the end of the road there. Okay. Um, board comment. Uh, you said no. I said no. You said no. I have, I have a couple things. That we, we we received the state revenue sharing today. Um, it's it's back up to the hundred and fifty-eight thousand one eighty-seven. Uh, that's up almost fifteen thousand from last year. So that's that's a good thing. Um, and for next board meeting, just to give you a heads up. Um, Cindy and I have met with the with the uh, director of the Metro Alliance um, and and uh, the, the yeah the, the Genesee County Metro Alliance and he's from the Planning Commission, um, telling us about why we really do need to be involved in that. If we remember, we voted not to be. Um, so I, I'll have the information for next meeting just to give you the heads up as to uh, why we should be. David, how much was the revenue sharing? 158000 158000 yes. Right. Okay. Uh, this time I'd like to adjourn the meeting. The next regular scheduled board meeting will be held Monday, May 18th, 2015 at 5.30 p.m. Do you want to hang around for a second? We'll official. Okay, if you raise your right hand, please, and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of this state. And the Constitution of this state. And that I will faithfully perform. And I will faithfully perform. The duties of the Office of Vienna Township Supervisor. I will faithfully perform the, uh, the Office of the Township Supervisor. Of the township. And, and, for, and for the Township of Vienna. And for the Township of Vienna. County of Genesee. County of Genesee. State of Michigan. State of Michigan. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thanks for your vote of confidence. Hey, I'm looking forward to working with you. First off, my name is Joe Risk. I've been a duly appointed supervisor for Vienna Township, effective today. I'm happy to be on board. Hopefully I can make a difference with the help of the current staff and the trustees. I appreciate the support they've given me so far with the interview board and the board of trustees. And I'm looking forward to again putting Vienna Township on the map. They've done a great job so far. Hopefully I can assist them again. I've used hopefully enough times now that we probably won't use it again.
<laughs> Don't look at me. Your hair's a bit frizzy today. Oh, <laughs> You should pick that up. <laughs> oh, you're such a dork. Loser. Here, let me help you with that. Oops. <laughs> Every day, kids witness bullying. Oh, look. Your crush is looking at you. <laughs> Poor you. <laughs> they want to help but don't know how. See, no one here is going to help you. because no one Teach your kids you. how to be more than a bystander. Visit stopbullying.gov. <laughs> Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving.